you. <laughs> I don't know if we can keep it on too long because it is nighttime. Watching uh, Timothy, Mo Bang for your bucks, build out his uh, camper van and was getting a little van can go into and to say um, the living room children. The van can carry about four because underneath this this uh, bench area here, which it's not done. Quick uh, ribbing's gonna work. Is actually the uh, the bench, the bench seat that can fold back up and become a seat. So it'll hold two or three people. And the front cockpit's obviously the same. I'm in process of cleaning things up, uh, putting a new uh, cooler console. What I did was basically um, where I, I built a um, a little cargo area back here for when I was doing the knife gig and had to carry like uh, basically 2,000 pounds of knives. I took that apart and converted it back to um, seat mode, which it's not fully set up right now, but the way it is right now is actually pretty comfortable. Um, I can actually kind of lean back, put my feet up. Uh, I'm, I'm watching TV, and I've got running. I also have the ability to run three blowing right at me. So uh, the van now has the ability to go into living room mode. So when it's set up like this, I have some storage underneath. I have a tire underneath, and then there's some storage under there. But I will also stuff that's what's going on. So I'm going to end this broadcast. But I um, wanted to give Blue a make room. And it's even got like soda holders, you know, the windows. This uh, the living room. May reinstall the shower. And I think it'll hold two adults. And it's designed for two adults, although it'd be a, a, it's kind of a tight squeeze for sleeping and sitting here in this little sofa area. But um, got a nice big screen TV, and when I have the Wi-Fi up, you know, I can actually surf and stuff. So, it, it, and, and the good thing about all this panel just slides down and, and lines up to that and then goes on back. So it goes back. And then the, the other panel that's up front here, this panel right here goes into the middle section and then the bed goes on top of that so the bed is just this just flips back over and becomes the bed and I pull it out so you can see we got the bed right here so it's a really nice um, setup that takes like one minute that was a big but I wanted to make sure that you know if I did this it would be a system that could be put up and taken down without you having to get out of the vehicle and you should be able to do it within one or two minutes and it shouldn't be too much of a hassle so it was like I just basically took the panel that, that went across and cut it just slightly shorter so it'll slide in and it can go to the back and, and brace up. And I took the, um, the wood that I had bought for the RV flooring that I was going to replace in the bathroom and I didn't use and I made the bench seat with those. So I'll show you that, you know, when it's daytime we get some light. I can have the computer up here working on the computer where I can even put it onto the big screen and watch that. And the best part of it all is if I, want, I wanted to run air conditioning, <laughs> being in Florida, I can run air conditioning. And during the daytime, I don't need to run air conditioning. I can open the windows and I can run three fans. So just thought I'd share that with you guys. Uh, look forward to the videos that will be coming up over the next couple weeks as I show off the systems and try to show people how to build a simple, really cheap minivan, similar to Little Blue, how this was done. Uh, so you can avoid some of the mistakes I made and, and do stuff like this, you know, so you get it right, you know, this is what you want. Finishing up his van and also testing the various components and then making modifications. So if you're into any vans or even building out a van, check out his videos. Um, also come back to this channel uh, over the next couple weeks. I'll be doing a series where I kind of show people very basic stuff from where you don't really modify the van to where you actually do something like this. It's not, I can run like fans all day on, and I have, um, I'm charging the system right now. Like right now you can see the system is, um, it says uh, 30 volts. I know you can't see it here, but 13.1. It's not really at 13.1. That's uh, that, what's coming in from the, um, the alternator. So the alternator, the alternator is creating 13.1 volts and charging the batteries up. 
And I'm doing that because, uh, you know, the TV is 120 volts, so it uses a lot of power. And also I wanted to run the air conditioning. So while I'm running the AC, watching TV, I'm charging the battery bank up. And then tonight I'll go to sleep, you know, I'll convert it to bed mode and then sleep with the three fans on. And then during the daytime, you know, the, the system charges while I'm driving. Or if I want to, I put that switch over there if the sun's out and have the system charge off the sun. That's the versatility of, of the, the power system that I've set up in a little blue. And it wasn't too expensive. Honestly, you could put together this system for, let's see, the switch is probably less than $2. Wiring, maybe $15. Um, batteries about hundred and seventy two hundred dollars and then if you get the cheap solar panel from solar wholesale or you know you could probably get it for I think about like what was it um, a 250 watt power for eighty five dollars so you know we're talking like less than three four hundred four hundred dollars and you can have this power system and as far as the van itself convert everything that you need and if you do it you know, with the design that I have already, it could be done in probably like one to three days, depending on how fast you work. So stay tuned. We'll cover this. I'll show you and show you why things were placed. Like for example, the drawers were placed here behind the driver's side instead of on this side. It's so that when you're driving, you could open this window up and you won't have a blind spot over here. If, if you have the drawers on this side, which was the original design, it actually blocks your view, but the way it is right now, when you're driving, I could have this window open and I can actually see out just like a regular van. And this van functions as a regular van still, you know, other than the back seats being gone. If I had the back bench seat here, I would keep them, you know, or I might have to take them out if I had to put these cabinets here. But there's also a little kitchenette in the back, um, which I'm debating if I want to keep it as a kitchenette. There's, got, there's a, like two kitchens in this little minivan. I'm going to be building an actual mini kitchen up there for the rice cooker. So stuff is kind of going to be a little bit more organized. Uh, you can thank all this to Timothy <laughs> on his uh, Mo Bang For Your Bucks channel. Because he's kind of motivating me to, um, to do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. I know the video is probably um, not the best quality because I maxed out my data usage for the month. You know, I've had these really long two, three hour streams. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Um, take care, everyone. Stay safe and um, 